sometimes a limit may be an ugly value. In the previous examples, the, uh, the limit was a pretty nice value, such as 1 or 12, an integer number. It doesn't have to be that way. It could be any number. So here is another example. Limit as x approaches 0, so it's again 0, of the formula 5 to the power x minus 3 to the power x divided by x. So it is somewhat similar to the previous example, to, to, not to the previous, to the very first example, e to the x minus 1 over x. And again, we do it numerically. And again, we do it on, on the calculator. So once again, what we need to change is we need to press y equals. Press clear in order to clear the previous formula and use this formula with Open parenthesis 5 to the power x minus 3 to the power x, all of that close parenthesis divided by x. And then we go second table, and again, those x, oh, x values that we previously used, we need to erase them and we erase them by pressing repeatedly pressing delete, and we put in the correct x values for this example. And we already know what the correct x value should be when x approaches 0. That means x takes values which are close to 0, which are small values, and those small numbers should be on both sides of 0, which means some positive and some negative, and every next number that we are trying should be closer and closer to 0. Like in this example, it would be 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.201, 0 0.401, and on the other side of 0, it will be negative 0.1, negative 0.01, negative 0.201, negative 0.301. And I'm going to plug them all into the function. So 0.1, the answer is 0.58496, very strange number. When we plug in 0 0.01, so it's a point. 51779. You see, by plugging only one or two values, you cannot really guess what this, what the answer could be. Like in the previous examples, like in the example with answer 12, maybe you could guess that 12 even from the first x value. So it was already pretty close to 12. But this one is not close to something, uh, to something nice. So let's try some more. Point two zero one. It will be 0.51152. And one more, 0 0.401, 0 0.301. The answer is 0 0.51089. So what can we tell? Uh, maybe what I want to do, I want to actually continue. Because we can tell that 0.5, it probably will be 0.5, because 0.5 is kind of stable. Now, look at digit by digit. Like the first digit is 0.5 and then it stays that way, it never changes. The second digit was 8, then it became 1 and again it stays kind of stabilizes. The third digit, 4, 7, 1, not quite clear what happens next. So let's do some more. Let's see how what happens to those numbers if they do stabilize or approach certain, uh, certain values. So let's try some more. Let's try... Uh, Four zeros one point five zeros one. So for point four zeros one, point one two three four zeros and one. So the answer happens to be point five one zero eight three. And let's do the last one. Point one two three four five zeros and one. So the answer happens to be also for, uh, 0 0.510, uh, 0 0.5183. It looks like it's exactly the same. In fact, it's not quite exactly the same. It's just the calculator rounds it up in order to see unrounded number, or at least number with uh, still approximate, but with more digits. You can move your cursor on top of this number, and then down, down the screen you will see more precise number with more digits. Like the second from bottom will be Point five one eight five one zero eight three two three two five four, and then the bottom, the last number happens to be point five one zero eight two six three. 
And then if you wish, you may drag some more. But anyway, so what I'm saying, first of all, it does not approach anything nice, anything integer, like 12 or anything. But you can still see like how the digits behave. Like the first, actually you can tell that the, the first four digits, 0 0.5108, they kind of stabilize it and it looks like they will never change anymore. So that's probably the answer. So after calculating all these numbers and looking at the numbers, we can see that the first digit, 5, is stabilized so it will not change anymore. Second digit is one, third digit is zero. It changes but then it stays as zero and the fourth digit is eight. Looks like the fifth digit is still kind of changing so we don't know exactly what happens but the first four digits actually are stabilized and that's how we can tell that most probably the answer to this uh, limit is 0 0.5108 which is like I said it's not a, a not a nice number such as integer so but it still gives you a pretty good approximation for the limit. But once again, I only did it one way, which means only for numbers slightly bigger than zero and approaching zero, coming close. Now I still need to do it the other way, and I will. And the other way, I will try negative numbers, and I will use the same numbers on the negative. Negative point zero zero one, negative point zero 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 one, negative point three zero uh, four zero one, negative point five zero one. Let's see what it does. So when I enter negative point one, the answer is point four four six one nine. It's pretty close from uh, pretty far from that. It's not close to four point one. Well, you may say it's close, but it's not clear. So we still need to check to check some more numbers to make sure that these function values also approach the same number. So these numbers they approach. 0.5108. We have to make sure that these numbers also approach the same. Approach or not approach, so we'll check it now. 5108. So we plug in negative 0 0.01. It's a 0 0.50396, so it's quite close already. Negative 0 0.001. The answer is 0.501. Point, sorry, point five, point five one, zero, 0.51013 for the number negative point three zero and one so the answer negative point three zero and one the answer is point five one zero seven six we can already see that it's pretty close to that but let's try one more just to be more sure so for negative point zero 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 0, 1. The answer is 0 0.5, 0 0.51082. So now, yes, we can see that indeed it approaches the same number. So now we know that indeed, even from the other side, when x values are slightly smaller than 0, the function values approach that same number. That's how we know that yes, at least up to four digits, it is a correct answer. So uh, this is the numerical method of calculating limit, and the answer happens to be an ugly number, but still it doesn't mean it's wrong. It's a correct answer for the limit.